Hello, good afternoon. It's Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review or end of day review for Friday, the 9th of September 2016. Be sure to visit Trade Signals, the uh, signals and market updates app from leading providers. You can certainly download the app from the uh, Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, now let's uh, understand exactly what led to the uh, sell off towards the afternoon. That was quite an impressive and a very stellar sell off. We've got the Dow Jones now down by 1.5%, the S&P down 30-odd handles. We have the NASDAQ down almost 100 points now. The FTSE 100 certainly um, uh, quite an impressive sell-off towards the close. You had the German DAX down 100 points, the French CAC down as well. And that was with the Nikkei obviously out higher overnight, the Hang Seng up 0.7%, but the Shanghai certainly weaker. Now, strange type of um, day because in the morning the markets were totally ignoring the weakness and uh, again, we had as soon as the US markets came on board, we had this uh, immense sell off. Now, in terms of economic data, we had the weaker uh, German exports this morning. So that was a real concern. We had uh, higher unemployment in, in Sweden as well. So again, that's a cause for concern. We had Chinese inflation certainly weaker. Again, lack of growth. Uh, UK inflation data slightly better than expected. So again, cause for concern. Although the st <clears throat> sterling certainly has fallen on the back of Rosengren's comments, which were hawkish. Now, after that, we've had Fed uh, Tarolo, we've had Kaplan, uh, again, reiterating potential hawkish stance, and the S&P 500 is down almost 30-odd handles. So I think all the bearish news certainly has been baked into the cake now, and let's see exactly how this market reacts from a technical perspective. Let's go to the uh, German DAX first and foremost. So looking at the daily chart, uh, the German DAX certainly is ben benefiting from a weaker euro, even though Mr. Uh, Draghi has stated that uh, there's going to be no additional QE for now. Well, it certainly remains open to potentially additional QE, but for certainly for now, certainly is none. Okay, again, that was a potential bearish factor, but the U the uh, European markets this morning totally ignored that altogether, pretty impressively. Okay, looking at the 60-minute chart, you certainly got the flush towards the close. Uh, although I was uh, expecting the German DAX to hold, given the bullish engulfing candle post Draghi. Draghi didn't have any any effect at all. Also, with regards to uh, Rosengren's comments as well, obviously a weaker euro helps the European indices to a large extent. But we certainly got the flush. Now, at the moment, we're currently trading around the 10.550 zone. Okay, 10.550. You certainly have support here at 10.510. So that certainly is support. You have the diagonal trend line that's been negated now to a large extent. And the pivot low we witnessed was 10.540. Currently, trend 5.4. 10540 after hours as well. So again, let's see how that plays out for now. Okay. In terms of the um, the German DAX, let's go to the 10 minute chart of the German DAX again. Uh, we uh, pivot S3 support pivot S2 pivot S3 is around 10360. I can't envisage that occurring due to the fact that um, uh, your euro obviously is weak. Okay. So again, the diagonal trend line certainly held. So you have to respect that for now, although we have been making a series of lower lows and lower highs going into the close. So again, that's a cause for concern. Looking at the tech all share, you had a breakout. Uh, we we're certainly testing the potential uh, breakout zone. So that's something certainly to observe. OK, in terms of the uh, French CAC now, let's bring up the French CAC for you. French CAC, 10 minutes intraday, you can see we had a potential double bottom towards the close. 60 minute chart, certainly retesting this breakout zone, which is uh, the key level at uh, uh, 4485 currently after hours of trading at 4485 so uh, again currently at 4480 so again if we do break lower then you have gap fill support seen at 4440 for the uh, the actual uh, French CAC so again certainly something to uh, watch out for in terms of the FTSE 100 certainly uh, quite an impressive flush given the uh, stronger dollar uh, daily chart now is on the verge of uh, actually negating this bullish engulfing candle 6750 was the uh, pivot low I actually went long on the fact that this bull flag would certainly play out, and that certainly hasn't been the case. Now, again, it certainly is vulnerable to breaking down. So just bear that in mind, folks, okay? So the bull flag certainly vulnerable to breaking down. 60-minute chart, FTSE 100 pivot low is seen at 6,720. So if we do get to 6,720, that certainly will be a zone that I'll be looking to buy. We did have an important zone here at 6,780. It certainly hasn't respected that. Pivot S3 support is 6,750. And you have this diagonal trend line. So again, something uh, to watch out for in terms of the market. Okay. Again, the important factor here, here is that the S&P 500 is actually corresponding to that. So if I go to the daily chart of the S&P 500, you can clearly see that we are into horizontal support, gap level support on the S&P 500. So again, 
uh, something to uh, certainly indicate that the the S and P wants to move higher, and therefore will send European markets higher too alongside that. That's my my uh, understanding thus far. Okay, so again, looking for strength and, and a uh, move higher. Although the FTSE 250 certainly did issue a bearish engulfing candle, so so, so again, cause for concern. Uh, having said that, though, we are now coming into potential support. You have the 200 MA support that's in place as well, so watch out for that. An impressive sell-off. Even though sterling certainly moved a lower on the day as well. So again, interesting. That's all I can say. Interesting observation for today's price action. But what's frustrating is I waited for almost two days for a sell-off on the uh, on the markets, but to no avail until the uh, US markets came on board. As soon as Mr. Frozegren spoke, and that's it. Literally, the uh, the sell programs kicked in. Okay, so again, looking at S&P 500 being into support, looking for a bounce in uh, the markets going towards the close, especially for US markets. Certainly looking for a pop, given the bearish news certainly is baked in. Okay, last but not least, the euro stocks. Euro stock still has been quite resilient, given the weaker euro or due to the stronger dollar. Okay, so again, we went down to retest those pivot lows at 3040 on the 60 minute chart, the daily chart at the moment still impressive. I mean, the fact that we actually negated yesterday's move, you can see we went as far as the gap fill at 3083, then eventually we did start to sell off, but we still held double bottom at 3040. So, again, something to consider. Right, okay, on that note, be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and certainly take advantage of the, uh, the actual bonus of 25%. And again, given the fact that the S&P is into support at 2150, looking for a bounce going into the close, and the FTSE should should certainly stay above 6750, the uh, Euro stocks above 3040. If the US markets start to break down and start to sell off even further, then you will see those support zones uh, break, and you are going to see, potentially see new lows. And it'll be interesting going into next week if the FTSE negates that bear, a bullish engulfing candle on the daily chart. Okay, goodbye now, folks.